Popping y'all, this your boy Bishop, back for episode 54 of Shit That Be On My Mind. If you like what I be saying, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Today, we're going to talk about black voting and young voters. Uh, this is definitely for any young black folk that's watching this. You know, no disrespect to us older people. You know, I'm a little older and then there's people older than me. No disrespect, but the young black vote is what's going to push us in the right direction where we need to go. And the reason why I say that is because they right now they fearless. You know, what I mean, I'm 42 years old, man. When I was younger, I was definitely way more fearless than I am now. I'm still fearless, but you know, you get older, you get a family, you get a wife, you get mortgages, you get responsibilities, basically. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of us older voters, a lot of us older black voters, to be specific, you know, we don't have that fight in this no more. You know what I mean? Because we too busy trying to protect the bag. We trying to protect what, the assets we didn't acquire. And we know by being outspoken, that's going to put us on the outside of society when we trying to just, you know, blend in and deal with society you know so that's why i say to do young black voters or young black folk who might be looking at this video like you know what i'm saying i'm speaking directly to y'all you know what i'm saying like directly directly so um my bad somebody was inboxing me but um i'm speaking directly to y'all man because y'all hold the key for us to get to the next level man y'all are more Y'all got more information at your fingertips than what we had. When I was younger, when I was in my teens and early 20s, we didn't have, you know, the phones. where We can just jump on the phone real quick and just get information, man, at a, at a millisecond. You know what I mean? Just so much information. You know, a lot of information out here, of course, we all know it's fake news or bullshit. You know what I mean? But a lot of that shit be real, man. You know, so y'all able to acquire more information. So y'all a lot more knowledgeable you know what I'm saying, than we are, you know what I mean, when I was younger, shit, we only had, what, CBS, NBC, ABC, you know, like three news channels, man, you know what I'm saying, that's how we got the information that we was getting, or we heard it through the streets, but a lot of time when you hear shit through the streets, you know what I'm saying, we all know some of that shit be, you know, if you tell 10 people the same story and just, you know, pass it to one person, by the time you get to the last person, it's going to be a totally different story, so that's how I be in the streets, man, you got to add and subtract when you come to, you know, shit that you hear, you know what I mean, so y'all basically able to get information quicker than we are, y'all very uh, knowledgeable and uh, tech savvy, so y'all know how to work these phones and computers and shit like that, so y'all know what's going on, man, y'all might not say it to your parents or your grandparents or your you know what I'm saying, or your aunts and uncles and shit like that, you know, us elders, you know what I'm saying, and we might think y'all might not know what's going on, but I, I really see that y'all do, man, and I want to commend y'all, and I want to encourage y'all to keep that fearlessness, don't be broken, um, and don't be afraid to speak up, you know, it's like right now, you got the two candidates that's left, you got Joe Biden and you got Bernie Sanders. Y'all both realize both of them some fuck niggas. But then you got older cats, you know what I'm saying? Older people, older generation who telling you, oh, you got to vote. You got to vote. You know, your ancestors died and this, that, and the third. Y'all smart enough to know, like, if they ain't going to do shit for me, then why I'm voting for them? That's like being in a relationship and a nigga tell you or a female tell you, I ain't going to do shit for you. We just going to have this title of we boyfriend and girlfriend. How many of y'all stay in our relationship? Think about it. Somebody say to you, I ain't going to do nothing for you. I want you to be with me, you know, but I ain't going to do nothing for you. That's basically what the Democratic Party has been telling black people for the last umpteenth years, man. Vote for us just because or because your ancestors or whatever but we ain't going to do shit for you. And when we do do something for you, we're going to attach it to everybody else. Or as they say, trickle down e economics. So the top people get their shit first and then we get what's left. Y'all smart enough to know, like, no, nah, I'm not dealing with that. 
you know and it's still some of us older cats i would consider myself you know what i'm saying i you know even though i know i got responsibilities and all that but i still will speak my voice i still speak up and i and i'm not voting like today in michigan today is tuesday march 10th you know what i mean you can vote for the primary for the uh for the uh, uh candidate of your choice either joe biden or um Bernie sanders i chose not to vote i'm not voting for neither one of them neither one of them has a a, a platform or nothing for a black agenda no reparations nothing really that's gonna help us man we in we in dire need and the reason why i say that is because a lot of folk like to point out the jay-z's the beyonce's the puffies the the oprah's the gales all these little selective ass black people but they fail to realize they the minority the majority of black people are suffering so i'm like nah man what is it to gain everything and your people are suffering so all the rich black people that we know, they are a small percentage of black people. The majority of black, 99% of black people is struggling, man, to pay mortgages, you know, send their kids off to college. I mean, just everyday living, man. Some people living not even check to check. They minus <laughs> check to check. You understand? Like they, they get a check and still behind. So that's what we need. For people to understand or people to understand is the fact that the majority of black people are doing bad, man. And the younger voters like yourselves understand that because y'all right now in the majority of black people who are struggling. Now, the ones who get older and, and, and might acquire, you know, become a lawyer or become a judge or become somewhere, you know, a doctor and they start getting a different tax bracket. Maybe then their mindset will change. But by y'all being at the at the bottom and y'all voice is not being heard because y'all seeing, you know, the repercussions of tax, um, not tax cuts, but basically funding for certain programs are being cut or they don't even have them. You know what I'm saying? So y'all see that shit. Jobs. You know what I'm saying? Just different shit like that. Y'all see that. Y'all on the ground, man. Y'all Y'all know what's going on right now. You understand? Back when I was younger, man, they had job training programs. So when you turn like 14, 15, you was able to work over the summer. I don't see that or I don't hear that no more. So kids be out here. So then they wonder why kids is out here shooting each other and killing each other. They ain't got shit to do. They ain't got no hope. So that's just my take on it, man. Y'all young black voters, y'all young black folk, man. Keep y'all foot on their neck, man. You know what I'm saying? As an OG, I'm going to keep they, my foot on their neck. And what I mean by that is, you know what I mean? I'm going to speak up, but also I'm not going to vote. Like right now, to, oh, why you not voting? I'm not voting. You know what I'm saying? Period. I'm going to sit on my vote to somebody, change my mindset as far as doing something for black people, man. Fuck all that. Like gay people get rights and shit for them, funding for them. Uh, immigrants get rights and funding for them. Jewish people get rights and funding for them. Why we can't get shit for us? Why we always got to be clunked with somebody else, man? Why can't we just have shit for us, specifically for black people? Like, you know black people struggle with starting a business. Why is not a certain amount of money set aside for loans strictly for black people? Not minorities, because minorities is considered white women and gay men white gay men so the minority today in 2020 is not black folk it's not a black person the minority in 2020 is a white woman and a white gay man so if they say you know they wrap it up and say hey yeah we're gonna do something for minorities and then we we start cheering and shit thinking that's for us not knowing that's not for us because the first person who's gonna be in line is gonna be white women and gay white men that's who gonna get them loans first so we need shit specifically said and lined out for us, period. That's it. And like I said, no disrespect to the older voters, you know what I'm saying, that's going out here believing this Joe Biden and believing Bernie Sanders. That's your prerogative, man. But understand that y'all going along to get along. And we ain't going to get nowhere like that. We haven't gotten nowhere like that. Y'all niggas became scared niggas. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all, let me, let me just address this right quick before I get off of here, man. A lot of y'all are so fearful of Trump that y'all vote for the devil himself. Now, a lot of y'all old niggas is Christians. Now, my grandma was a Christian. My auntie was a Christian. My mama was a Christian. And from what I got from the Bible is you ain't supposed to fear nobody other than the Lord. So if you fear Trump, what is that saying about your faith? 
Obviously, you don't have no faith. You you so you so scared of one man. Not knowing niggas been catching hell for four. We've been here for 400 some years. We've been catching hell since we got off the damn boat. You think one man changing that? Like, man, stop being scared, man. Grow some nuts and grow some some uh some ovaries, man. You know what I mean? Stop being scared, man. So shout out to the young black folk, man, the young black voters. Y'all keep doing your thing. Y'all inspire me to keep up my thing, man. And that's all I got to say on that. Y'all have a good day.